In number five, we have six to the fifth power over, in a fraction, six to the third power. Contrary to what some of you may be thinking, you do not need to actually evaluate six to the fifth and six to the third. Please think smarter and don't think harder. Six to the fifth over six to the third, use your properties of exponents. Treat it like it were an x to a power. What would you do in this situation? Or when in doubt, write it all the way out. Six to the fifth is six times six times six times six times six. Right, one, two, three, four, five, okay, good. Over or divided by six times six times six. When you divide any number by itself, it turns into one or it reduces or simplifies into one. We don't say cancel in fractions. So that equals one, that equals one, and that equals one. So if this is what happens in your thought bubble above your brain, then some of you may have written down six to the second power. And while that's fine, I would prefer in an example, especially like this one where six to the second power is not an unreasonable request to have you fully evaluate, I would rather you write 36. I hope that you didn't waste your time figuring out six to the fifth power. I hope you memorized six to the third and you know it's 216 because of all the factoring we did with sums and differences of cubes. And that's all there is to it. So 36 would be the best answer for that. Six of the seconds is okay, but six, uh, 36 would be best. Um, next example, click the thumbnail. Playlist is on the screen as well. Carry on.